Hey there, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you an exciting library that enables you to create grid and martingale strategies with ease in MQL4 on MQL5. Let's get started. So there are actually two include files which I want to show you. First, functions at MQH and strategies at MQH. In functions at MQH, you, you will find a lot of useful functions that can be helpful in initializing grid and martingale strategies. All of the functions have comments above them uh, explaining what it actually does. And in the strategies.mqh file, there are three classes defined. There is a strategy class and there are two classes derived from this strategy class, Gris strategy and Martingale strategy. There are comments everywhere uh, in these include files. Everything is explained in this file, so I won't explain them in this video because it will be too long. What I'm going to show you is how you can set and initialize a strategy and you can, how you can run a strategy. So the first important thing is to set the strategy's parameters. You can do this with a set params uh, function. You can set the symbol, the start price, the lots, so the volume amount you want your strategy to use. The take profit in monetary amount, so in your base currency. The stop loss, whether you want to run this strategy even after it closes, whenever the stop loss or the take profit is hit, and the leverage. And after you have initialized the strategy and set all the important parameters, you can just call the run function and it will run automatically. Another important function is the stop function. This is what stops the st strategy. The other function that is important to mention is the onTick function. This is the function that you have to call on every tick in the expert advisor, so you have to call it right here. So how does a grid trading strategy work? Well, of course it has a start price and it has a range. The range is where you think the price will rebound or the price will stagnate. And there is a density parameter. This parameter gives the amount of orders to be made in this range and there is an order step parameter between the orders. So this is a multiplier between the orders. So for example, if the order step is one and a half, if I'm using one lot here, I'm buying one lot here, then I'm going to buy one and a half lot here, and then one and a half times one and a half here, and so on and so forth. And another parameter, which is important to mention, is the direction parameter. There are three types of directions, the long only, the short only and the long short. So a grid strategy will have all of the attributes that I mentioned. It will have a density, it will have a range and it will have a direction. And you can set this parameter with the set grid params function. This is now only defined for the grid strategy class. You can here set the density, the range, the step and the direction. The direction can be chosen from three types, long only, short only and long short. Long only allows only buy trades, short only allows only sell trades, and long short allows both. Now let's create our first expert advisor with help of this include file. As you can see, I have already included the strategies.mqh file. First, what we are going to do is create a new instance of this uh, strategy. And after that, we want to initialize the strategy. So first we have to call the set params. We want to run this for the current symbol. We want the magic number to be, I don't know, something like some random number. We want the start price to be the ask price. We want it to use some, uh, some volume. Now I'm going to run this strategy for the Euro US dollar. So I'm going to say 0 0.7 lots. Then the take profit will be, I don't know, like $20 and then the stop loss will be like 350 well, Let's Let's make it 500 It should not stop after the close and the leverage should be 100 That is the leverage of the current account. So after that we have to set the grid parameters. Now we want the density to be 9, we want to take 9 orders in the range, the range to be 0 0.1, this order step to be 
three direction is to be long short after that we want to run the strategy and in the on tick on the in the on the, the init we have to delete this strategy because it's a dynamic member we created it with a new keyword in the on the on tick we have to call the grid dot on tick function as I already said it now you compile I forgot the so now when we compile it should function and that's literally how easy it is to create a grid trading strategy with this now I have run it in the strategy tester as you can see it made some profits but it's just because the parameters were ideal but as you can see it, it's to it's totally working like it should work it is taking trades it is a grid trading strategy so everything's fine now if you don't want the strategy to keep running after it closes out for a profit then this value should be true and if you want to create some other strategies based on some criteria you can call these uh, functions that we have called in the init function right here so let's say if there is a entry cut criteria you see that the volume is low or I don't know then you can initialize your grid strategy and then you can run it and if there is a stop criteria you can stop it and and there's just so much powerful things that you can do with this and this is very easy to use like we have cre literally created a grid strategy in 10 or I don't know 15 lines of code like that's just nothing now this include file also allows you to create martingale strategies martingale strategies work like this there is a start price when this start price is hit then the strategy will start and it will buy at the buy level and it will close out at the start price plus the range and there is a sell level when the sell level is reached the strategy will sell and it will close out at the start price minus the range now whenever the price changes their direction so, so for example if it reaches the start price then it reaches the sell level but it goes up then at the buy level we are going to buy much more in order to cover our losses from the sell level now theoretically if we had an infinite amount of money it would be impossible for us to lose so as you saw there are three important parameters the range the buy level and the sell level now these parameters can be set right here in the martingale strategy set martingale function here you can set the range the buy level and the sell level now let's create a martingale strategy first we are going to include the strategies.mqh file then we are going to create a new instance of a martingale strategy After that, we are going to initialize the parameters right here in the init function. First, calling the set params or set martingale. We want to run it for this symbol. We want the magic number to be, I don't know, some random number again. We want the start price again to be the ask price. We want the volume to be one lot. We want the take profit to be $20, the stop loss to be I don't know thousand dollars we don't want it to close close after a profit we the leverage is a hundred again or it's let's say it's 500 this time now I want to set the martingale parameters the range has to be now let's say that the range is 0 0.05 the buy level is s plus 0 0.03 the sell level is s minus the same thing and then we want the, to run the martingale we have to delete the martingale in the on the and in the on tick we have to call the martingale.on tick function now after i ran a backtest 
I realized that these parameters were bad and they, they couldn't show you the actual result of a martingale strategy, so I changed the parameters to 350 points. The range is now 350 points. The buy price is ask plus 230 and the sell price is ask minus uh, 230 points. Now the stop loss is 100, the take profit is half dollar and the lot amount is two and a half. This, these are extreme conditions, but just because I wanted to show you how the strategy actually looks like. And as you can see, this is exactly what you're looking for when creating Martingale strategies. As you can see, about here the price went down, sell, sold here, but this sell is bigger than this buy here. This is 0 0.05 and this is 0 0.01 and then closing out here for a profit. The same goes with each and every one of these trades. Sell, then buy again, then sell here for a profit. Now, same as with grid trading strategies, you can actually initialize martingale strategies in the OnTick function if you want to check the market conditions right now. So for example, here's a simple template. If markets are volatile, then we are going to initialize the martingale strategy and then we are going to run if there is some danger then we are going to stop but every time we are calling a martingale.ontick function now again we managed to create a martingale strategy with 30 lines like that's that's just very easy and and very powerful now i would also like to add that i have wrote a software that enables you to create martingale and grid trading strategies easily now i have achieved a profit of more than 11 percent in just three months which is a huge deal in my opinion and it was all using this software here is the myfx book of the same account as you can see there are almost 12 percent and i managed to do it in, in three months and I just think that it is a very powerful software, so don't miss out on it. And that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Hope you have enjoyed. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below.